and this is the same chord progression but one semitone up I believe Hi, my name is Nene Kearda, I'm a musician and today we're gonna react to and analyze some of the anime openings of Spring 2023. So I'm here at my anime list. Here we have some anime. This is Demon Slayer. So this is the latest season of Demon Slayer. I want to react to the opening. So I want to see if it's any, any good. I like the intro here with the kind of Asian instruments or the Japanese instrument. Okay, we are in G minor here. Yeah, we kind of have the G there as a stabilizer. We kind of alternate between going to the bass, which is the G note, and kind of playing some other notes to get some kind of melody, right? This is a very like usual kind of rock sound we remove the guitar here just bass and maybe some percussion very very slight percussion in the background and then we have another guitar kind of or something like that okay that was a nice chord that one Now, I don't know exactly which chromatic order is there. If it's like a more diminished sound or if it's like a, a secondary dominant with like the third in the bass. Sounds very diatonic. Classic J-Rock. Yeah, so we kind of land on that G minor. Uh, okay, let's move on. Oshinoko, we already reacted to that one. I can do a quick one. Okay, before I react to this, I just want to say that I have already reacted to this song. So if you're interested in a more kind of deep analysis of this song, check this one out. <laughs> I have already talked about that intro, but I have to talk about it again. Such a cool intro and uh, use of modes. This song is played in G sharp Phrygian or A flat Phrygian. And what is that? Well, think of a normal minor scale. And now instead of having the second note, a whole step apart from the first note we're gonna flatten it and then we get this sound do you hear how this mode sounds the phrygian sound is often associated with like spanish music arabic music and stuff like that so that's why it sounds like that That intro is Phrygian. It's such a nice chord progression. I haven't watched this music video, so I'm kind of hyped. I could be wrong, but I think we are just in regular G sharp minor or A flat minor. Listen to the choir in the back here. It's, it's fire. Listen to the choir here. I'm gonna enhance it with my electrical guitar and it continues to go lower damn that's nice and then we add the bass and that bass moves insanely fast such insane bass lines super nice bass this is Quality opening right here. Is my computer going ape shit? What is it supposed to look like this? Why is my I don't know. Hell's Paradise. 
Okay, up next, Hell's Paradise. Like Oshinoko, I have already reacted to this opening. So if you want a more, if you want a deeper analyze of this opening, go check that out. We're in B flat minor. And that's it. And we got the trumpets or some kind of brass instrument. I like the drums here a lot. And here we have some super weird chord progression. It sounds like it's going chromatically down. And this is the same chord progression, but one semitone up, I believe. It's nice. You don't have to overcomplicate it. If you have a cool chord progression, a kind of an interesting rhythm, uh, then you don't really need more because that was this was nice this is a good song this is a good song I feel like Oshinoko is still like the the best uh, but let's see if Dr. Stone New World has something to say to that okay let's listen to this okay straight into a riff no intro nothing no singing just straight into a riff <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like the first bit is that. Hey, this ain't that bad. I actually kind of like this. Instead of playing the E minor here, if we play it one octave higher and kind of utilize these higher notes, and we get a bass line as they do in this song it works very well kind of having some guitars one or two guitars kind of i like that i like that a lot utilizing the higher notes of the guitar and having a bass like that that is very meaty and thick and this sounds like some kind of key change yeah, we have a chromatic thing going on here. From the verse to the pre-chorus, that's nice. Listen. Yeah, I think we just go in the pre-chorus, I think we just go chromatic. Then we go... Now we're back. Right? I think it's just that. Uh, that's super simple. C, D, E minor, G. Very common chord progression. We hear that chord progression all the time. Uh, if we see G major as the home chord, four, five, six, one. I like the strumming though. That sounds like the chromatic thing we hear all the time. That's a thing we hear all the time. When they want to spice up the four, five, six progression, instead of doing they always do this instead. They kind of make a passing chromatic chord there. It basically functions as a secondary dominant, but with the third on the bass, uh, which makes the bass line go chromatically up um, and it's a super super common sound hey this can this has a vibe I, I like this though it's not the best thing i have ever heard but i wouldn't skip it i don't know if i should react to konosuba or mashle let's go in order i want to react to konosuba okay uh maybe we're in e Okay, that that's spicy, I guess. I mean, it's the seventh chord in the minor mode, uh, so in E minor. Again.
Okay, that's interesting. At least this is this is. I was expecting it to resolve here. To a major, right? And now we resolve. Okay. I mean, so the best one for this season is obviously Oshinoko. That one is crazy. Very interesting, strong melodies, unique instrumentation. Everything about that song is so on point. The thing is, it's interesting for musicians to listen to. It's still catchy enough and it still is packaged in this very palatable way. Anyone can listen to the song and it feels structured. It feels like it makes sense. So Oshinoko, best opening this season, absolutely. Second, I would say Hell's Paradise. I wouldn't say it's as unique as Oshinoko. I like it. It's clear. It repeats certain concepts in the song. It doesn't try to overdo it. I think that's why it's also very catchy. Third, I would say Dr. Stone, New World. I mean, sounded kind of typical, but it had a little bit of funk with that strumming guitar. So I kind of liked it. Fourth, I would say Demon Slayer. It was okay. Last place, I would say Konosuba. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave any suggestions in the comment section below. And yes, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.